wasn't strong enough to pass him and get away from him, so it's like I got one shot, and it's just going to have to be off turn four. And it's, it's a good thing that Pontiac's got the kick out on the nose. <laughs> yeah, that was the difference. <laughs> but he wouldn't have won. Look at how close this finish is. Oh. Oh. Wow. Woo. It was an awesome race. I didn't give him one, room in one, and he didn't give me room out of four. It's the way it's supposed to be. I mean, this was some hard fall racing. You know, I don't regret any of what happened. That was good racing. Neither of us got taken out. We certainly wrinkled some, some paint and some sheet metal. At the end of the day, that was a great entertainment for the fans. And for us, that's why we do this. I mean, that right there, that pumps life into a driver and says, hey, this is what it's all about. Hey, well, if that doesn't get you excited about racing at Darlington Raceway, you must not have a pulse. That's why the fans come out to these tracks and so much history crammed into 1.3 miles of asphalt here. The new surface on this track, just about anything can and will happen here tonight because of what goes on here at Darlington, the wild, fast speeds and uh, the unknowns that are Darlington. And guys, did that get your blood pumping to see that finish? Oh, that, to me, Johnny, that was one of the most exciting races of all time. I mean, because it was just two guys determined, wore out tires, a racetrack that warrants that type of race. And we could see that tonight. I, I really believe we could see a lot Let of that. Us hope. I just want to give a shout out to Ricky Craven. I mean, where are you now? What a great talent. He won again at Martinsville, and now he doesn't race anymore. Ricky, we miss you. All right, and Wendy Venturini is down in the garage area right now and is talking to one of the better-known CEOs in NASCAR. Wendy? That's right, Johnny. This is the Dodge Challenger 500 tonight, so why shouldn't we have Bob Nardelli on from Dodge? And I think I should uh, remind you the last time we had you on race day was in Daytona, and you guys ended up in victory lane. We must be a good luck charm here on race day. Well, I sure hope so. Uh, unfortunately, it's probably not that easy just by showing up. Uh, we are excited about tonight. I've had a chance to talk to the drivers. They're feeling good about the cars, so it should be an exciting evening. Now, there's a, a Dodge Challenger, the SRT8, that I've heard so much about, and you guys have raised so much money for charity. And I have to tell you, I think I'm going to have to expand my garage space because we're going to run out of room. My husband really wants one of these Dodge Challengers. It's music to my ears, Wendy. <laughs> if, uh, if he wants one, we got one. And, but we are excited. We've raised almost a million dollars in raffling off the new uh, Challenger, the SRT8. And I can't think of a better place to put it on the track for the first time than uh, right here in Darlington. Uh, it's an iconic track. It's an iconic car, all 425 horsepower. So we're excited about being here today. We're excited about sponsoring this race. We appreciate the opportunity to talk about our products. All right. Thanks, Bob. We appreciate it. And don't forget, race fans, that very first car that rolled off the assembly line, that Dodge Challenger, was on Barrett Jackson. And Craig Jackson bought that. And all that money went to charity. Johnny? Wendy, thanks a lot, and thanks a lot to Mr. Nardelli and everybody at Dodge who does so much for the sport of NASCAR. Now, in case you missed Kyle Busch on the show just a moment ago, we're going to hear more from him in just a moment. We'll also continue to get you fired up for racing at the Darlington Raceway in South Carolina. Oh, he turned it! No! Oh, he turned it! No! Junior Nation was up in arms last weekend. But a little controversy's nothing new to NASCAR. Waltrip spins it backwards across the grass. We'll show you how one wreck oh, and cuts. can turn good guys bad. Around the turn, NASCAR. What, what to say here? Whether you want to go and get mad and, and get somebody's face, but is that is that okay this time? You know, sometimes it is all right. And, uh,